Now that's what I'm fucking talking about. We got a battle finally. And when the fucking characters aren't fucking doing their stupid shit, it actually feels like a Halo fucking series. I gotta say, I gotta give props where props is due. That was fucking awesome. That battle sequence was fucking sweet. Do you guys agree? Yeah, I like Looks that. Looks like Alex is... <laughs> I, I mean, we got 10 minutes of the pure awesome. The last 13 awesome. minutes of, amazing. of pure Totally awesome. amazing, but it still it just shows how garbage the rest of the things that we've got. <laughs> right, when the characters start talking again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so uh, what is the uh, episode five? Reckoning. Reckoning. And uh, we finally get uh, a battle because I was like, dude, I'm going to start subtracting points for every fucking time an episode goes by. There's nothing but fucking exposition and bad writing and zero action and Chief taking his helmet off every five seconds. That still happens here. Chief (laughs) has this bad habit of putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. We need, at this point, we need a fucking uh, helmet removal counter. I wonder what (coughs) we're at. I would love if somebody could look it up. What? How many times he does it. But when the battle comes, he puts his helmet on. This is where, you know, what I've been expecting. And so far, I think that that particular action sequence was probably one of the best action sequences ever filmed in a live action Halo style. Aside from, you know, some of the commercials and things that they've done before. So, um... More of that, please. Oh, man, I fucking loved seeing the goddamn ship, Grunts. you know, fucking smashing into the ground. I was like, look, uh, they're fucked. Like, the Covenant comes and, y- you know, they will not win. But the Covenant was there. The explanation is the Covenant is there just for uh, an objective. They managed to make off with the um, uh, artifact uh, because Chief decides to do the Chief thing. Uh, again, good to his character, saving Kai, who, um, unlike Chief, can't really handle uh, the amount of emotions that are going through her uh, as Chief can because uh, she literally sees all the Marines around her dying and uh, her heart rate elevates and she kind of fucks up and takes a bunch of shots. Her shield's about to uh, expire. And uh, Chief decides to save her there. Uh, really, really awesome. Like, we see grunts. We see grunts. Motherfucker. Like we that. see Marines get exploded by needle rifles. We see fucking uh, shields, the fucking swords, just the coveted forces ripping through uh, the Marines easily. And then the only ones really putting up a fight is the Spartans. Um, all of very, very well executed. CGI is great in some places. The only it started to CGI started to fall apart a little bit when uh, a, go, a I think a ghost. No, I'm sorry. A banshee slams into a uh, uh, a warthog. Looked a little hokey there, but other than that, uh, it's great. Straight out of the video game, motherfucking chief riding up on. He's in the air, flying, trying to get that ship and 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 sort of pilot that ship to ram into something else. It's just fucking awesome. Died, That's whatever. Very video game. <laughs> Pretty cool. And they do plenty of first-person shots to uh, pay homage to the game. I, I like it. I know some people think those shots are a little hokey, and if it, maybe it does kind of take away from it. But I, I do, I, I like the fact that they're paying homage to the video game with that. So um, Chief even pulls a fucking one-liner here, <laughs> which kind of seems more out of Dude. character for this particular Three. version of Chief. He does. Well, yeah, do you he, remember him all? Yeah, he's like, here, let me drive. Let me drive. That uh, was the I, one I, I need, remember. I need a weapon, which is super important. Uh, yeah, I need uh, a weapon. And we get a brute! A fucking yeah. brute uh, who basically uh, takes away the artifact. Uh, I'm just talking mainly with the battle, because that was the best part of the episode. Yeah, that was it. Um, fucking energy explosions everywhere and i loved it so so now let's talk about the rest of it the majority of the episode <laughs> go ahead go ahead Alex. Uh, look, I, episode. I do i truly think that the last 13 minutes were truly special yeah. oh, yeah. this is what this should have been episode two yeah honestly should. fast forward through the first what 30 minutes of this episode and get to that because i mean this is this is bargain basement garbage um, writing again. We have a. I'm going to cut your funding. I know you just found oh, the key to the I space rolled weapon. My eyes. You, so you found hard. the key. We found the two most important things. Uh, yeah. The way to actually win this war that we're losing. By the way, we're yeah. losing this war. 
and we found the things that could potentially help. I'm we gonna cut your don't funding. know that we're losing the war because the show doesn't ever fucking yeah. po- you know position things correctly. So we're cutting Miranda's funding. We found out that Miranda is ev- uh, um, that you know she's so unlikable. She's a you know plague spreading, child thieving, eugenics clone murdering. Her assistant is a you know doctor sleep rape. Hold like on. everyone in this show is unlikable outside of like the you know the the, the silver team really. Uh, um, yeah, Silver Team. They're, I even want they're casting a good light on Miranda. They're trying to get you to oh, care yeah, about we, Miranda. But like, and then we get more Quan stuff, and this is like peak bad Quan. It is. Luckily, For, it wasn't that much. This but it was still tainted. I fucking hate this character so much. She's literally ruining the show, derailing the pacing, and it is a parody at this point how bad this character yeah. is. And I get that it's supposed to be kind of done on purpose, but why is this even here in the Halo show? It's, it's, it I don't know what the, the showrunners are like. We're gonna make a whole collection of super unlikable characters. Wait, why aren't people liking our characters? Because like, you made them fucking unlikable. Yeah. So um, that's that's it. It's all terrible. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was a little shorter episode too. Aww. I think they're getting shorter as they go along. Uh, but I'll allow it because that action scene definitely. Good. Can we just paid ignore off. the first part and just like yeah. we talk about only shit, you know. man? This shows me the upper capabilities of the show, and that encourages me for season two uh, on the Halo when we eventually get to Halo. The battles on there, if the fucking People in charge over there listen to fan feedback. I think that season two can be great. But meanwhile, CBS has been trying to fucking, uh, you know, keep our message down. They have employees going through our channel manually claiming anything. Uh, so we're going to have to try to get around that and, and put up uh, this episode, hopefully without interference from fucking CBS. You see... We're fair here, you know. Uh, We praise things when they deserve to be praised, and we talk shit about it when it's a piece of shit. And you know, and it's it just blows my mind that only our shit talking episodes have been (laughs) blocked. Anyways, um, it's fucking drama with CBS because this is taking away from the show. Should be concentrating on the show. Uh, This is. Uh, the show opens with the Reach for Life uh, mission explanation. We go a little bit back in time. We get a flashback to Halsey. Like you say, an over-the-top uh, you know, kind of uh, character, but this is the way that she is in the books, and you need these kinds of people in humanity if we were to even stand a chance to uh, you know, fight against the, the Covenant. Did she have to capture kids? No, because if you have these, it doesn't really make sense, these pellets, because if you have these pellets and you have the ability to give kids amnesia and make them forget and stuff, it's like, then why, why did we need to, you know, do all that programming and stuff from, from very young? I'm sure in this military, like, you know, it seems like there's more military side here in, in, in this Halo universe. They didn't really need to do that. But okay, uh, you know, it's it's so that we have the drama, and it's because it's in the Halo lore that we'll have this eventual <gasps> betrayal. And uh, and another good part about this episode is things are fucking moving forward. We are get the plot is now advancing. So I thought that they're gonna tease the fucking Master Chief realization with the Halsey betrayal until much further along in the oh, in this season. Get them done now. That happened right now. Uh, he realizes, wait a minute, uh, he sees uh, Jacob Keys talking with Miranda. He's asking Cortana where all the fucking files at about all this stuff, the adoptions and all this stuff. None, none of it is there. He realizes it. And at this point, touches the artifact so he can get full uh, realization uh, that Miranda is, or not Miranda, uh, Halsey is a piece of shit and, and kidnapped him, uh, basically, against Did his she will. kill his dog, too? And like all, she, all what the, the other, fuck? Well, For real? I missed that. Well, no, see. I'm just, it's like oh, the people okay. who are writing her, uh, are they, they think that the, the audience are fucking dumb, and they're like, we have to make her not just like eugenics evil, not just like we're going to steal his... Because remember, she, she. I think it's fine the way they depicted her, because like, there's no other way to do it. The capture of a fucking child is like. Well, they just keep going worse and worse and worse. They're like, get it? She's the bad guy. It's like, yeah, we get it. She's the bad guy. Like, can we move yeah. on to the, to the other stuff? It's yeah, just she's a bad guy, and and well, in in this particular instance, or from one particular point of view, but it's it's almost necessary because we need Chief. So that's the internal conflict, and finally uh, realizes it. <laughs> Who's the one that first talks to Chief? It's Halsey comes around the corner. She's like, don't worry. I will fucking explain everything. And uh, and then Chief 
does something unexpected. Uh, he goes to fucking murder Halsey, <laughs> fucking attack her. I mean, yeah. that 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 punch would have caved her face yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, she obviously activates Cortana in order to shut down his uh, cerebral cortex. Uh, they called it something else, but whatever. He falls to the ground lifeless, and the betrayal is complete. So now, uh, you know, Chief has the understanding that at any time, you know, He's Cortana's not on his side. Cortana has betrayed Chief. Jacob Keys has betrayed Chief because he confided in him. Sir, this thing is going on. Can you look into the... I will look into it personally. In the flashback, Life. we see that Jacob was a part of it as well. And then finally... Uh, Halsey has betrayed Chief, of course, the ultimate betrayal. Um, so how this is going to factor in moving forward, how chi is Chief going to still stay a part of the, uh, you know, the military, UNSC? Is, is he going to... He's uh, a choice. He doesn't really have a choice, yeah. How, how is they going to reconcile this? It's going to be interesting uh, as we move forward. So we it, got all that like shit, uh, you know, finally revealed. They're not fucking dragging it out. So I appreciate that. Um, I also appreciate now the blessed one has converged with uh, our other. <sighs> in, in a, again, a stupid, stupid fucking way. Like if anybody buys this shit where the covenant uh, just fucking takes a, a dump. And, and she poo poos out a little pod at the last, and then she's like, she's "Make taped. it look good." And she, <laughs> as if to they taunt me, again. she's playing around with her energy sword finger. Why? Why? <laughs> it's only like, "Fuck you! You don't like the energy sword?" She's gonna play around with. Doo, doo, doo. I think that, is she, is she gonna do the little skateboarding fucking finger? What is she doing? I don't understand. And so she's reminding. She's you. like, uh, she's she reminding us uh, that she's got this, so that she'll do this on Chief when he picks her up. I don't fucking know. No, she's gotta kill Rape Doctor. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because he he knows too much about the artifact. I don't know. Uh, so they they t uh, they drop her off, and they also you shoot a shot at her. One. They, they shoot at her as if they're going to kill her. It's so obvious. So hopefully Chief doesn't uh, fucking fall for this. Um, and he notices her, and we get the meeting, and ta-da! And then that's when we kind of stop there. Uh, the Blessed One is now uh, with the UNSC. I don't really know why. She needs the other she keystone. She key. Because I need the other mm, part. We only have half. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, I, thought, I thought they have, you know, over the years ha had already had their own, and they were looking for the piece no, that they, they just, just got. All right. So quite one. clearly, we see incoming. Um, she's going to steal it and uh, fucking uh, uh, probably earn Chief. This is what's going to bother me. If she earns Chief's trust and then uses that to exploit, grab it, Leave. I think Another that's what's going to happen right now. Chief. He's feeling very vulnerable because the people that he's trusted have lied to him. Right. So he's very vulnerable. She he's like, I don't know. Ah, like, are yeah. we seeing this from uh, a mile away, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen. Nice. Um, yeah. So. Again, uh, as the episode jumps back and forth, le thankfully, once that m the battle starts, that's where we stay. And and it shows you the strength there. If you stay with pissed. one plot line, I know, right in the middle of the battle, the Quan, Quan is like, hey, asshole, don't leave me here. It's like, or hey, like, asshole, really? I got out. It's you had to add that in. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> so once again, we cut away to Quan, uh, and she's like, well, you know, she's like, well, I'm not leaving. You can leave, and I'm not leaving. And I'm like, Okay, please, please leave her. But yeah. the writer's are like, now nah, we got to keep her can't. in the goddamn show. So he handcuffs her to his fucking motorcycle, <sighs> and she calls him an asshole for like the fifth time, I guess. And he goes to get his wheels. Uh, later, she manages to uh, break, uh, then cut away. And then later on in the episode, cut back. She breaks out of her fucking uh, thing. And it's like, well, where, where are you going? You have nowhere to go. So, But it turns out that she hid. She put a bunch of dirt over her head, and Soren, who is motherfucking trained in military tactics, uh, is outsmarted by Quan, who I, I guess creates little fires around because everything's steaming. It kind of looks like a battle has happened or something, or maybe that's just the terrain that, that steams. Terrain. I don't fucking know, but uh, it would have been a more convincing lie if she started little fires and she set them. In. Anyways. Uh, she she tricks him and uh, knocks him out, uh, and then the, the I don't understand what she's doing. This is like fake drama. It's just she's just pointing the gun at him as if she's gonna fucking blow his head off. Why? This I, is, like, I hate this kid. Like what? Fucking do it. You're dead to me. Then 
I no, she's her. already she dead to me, I Joe. If she fucking blew no, Soren's head off, show I want I, I'm, I'm out of here. Well, because <laughs> she keeps dragging him further and further down because he does stupid shit yeah, because, because he's in her. her story. So it's like, kill him, please. Put him out no, of my misery. No, no, can't kill Soren. I have no I fucking Soren kill Soren to kill. No fucking kill Klein. Well, she's gonna die anyway. She the first thing that she did in the desert. Oh, planet copyright was, claim from was, the CBS. Boy didn't want us to say to kill Klein. Uh, God oh, damn it! Now we fucking blocked. Well, worldwide. I'm gonna be fucking pissed if Soren somehow heroically saves her, and sacrifices himself. He has every reason to just kick her ass he to does. the curb, and they and and it's because but it's the writing. Like, I, I have can't to do keep it, man. This fucking, it's in the fucking script. It's in the script. fucking it's script. The script. I got the. <laughs> I want to leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. Uh, but enough, more parts than I did like is one two five. Uh, she's asking questions. She's even talking to Vanek, trying to get Vanek to be like, "Hey, you ever wonder why?" And he's like, "Because they want to kill us, and I want to kill them." And it's like, "Yeah, why? but why?" <laughs> and he's like, "Stop asking me fucking stupid questions. Did the so grease get into your head?" <laughs> Uh, Vanek is awesome. I hope eventually he he sort of joins uh, the team. Uh, but she says she's uh, she you know she's talking with Chief. Chief notices about her and he pulls her aside and says, "You're off the mission." She's what? <laughs> I'm fu- I'm I'm woke. I have awoken. You are woken. We're both woke. That'll piss off some uh, segment of YouTube. Oh, they're right. Oh, no, we're woke now. It's like okay, well everybody hates the show. Well, I already hated the show before that. But no. Um, her woke is different from his woke because she feels everything too intensely. So Chief was in the ride to kind of sideline her. Um, it's, no, don't side, sideline her. She can contribute to the battle. And she does contribute to the battle, at least for a moment so until she, she starts mm-hmm, seeing everybody. So Chief does the right thing. I like that kind of drama. It works. Uh, the Spartans' base is the drone that they fly off, the fucking ships flying. I love it. Everything's great. We do get a fucking ch- uh, helmet removal counter. He puts on the helmet, and then a second later, he takes off the helmet. It's it's like a running joke now. He even walks over to one to take off your helmet. They're, <laughs> she's wearing her helmet. Take off your helmet. Now he's telling everybody else yeah. to take their helmets off. <laughs> the Keystone is currently exploding. Everyone's holding their heads like crazy, and he walks up to the danger thing, and he takes his helmet off. It's like it fucking, takes, He sh- continues fucking to take his helmet it. off. Um, you need to see his emotions when he touches it. <clears throat> it was before he touched it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, There's no fucking reason for it. You saying uh, just Marines getting killed all over the place? You know who I really miss? I really miss Sergeant Johnson. That, that would have been fucking amazing. In the promo stuff, I was like, oh shit! You know, he's wearing the hat. I thought maybe Jacob Keys would be Sergeant Johnson, but no, he's his own thing. So we need not only do we need Keys, we also need Johnson. I hope maybe they'll bring him for season two or something, because uh, I think he can really add a dimension to the. Uh, Nameless Marines who are getting murdered all the time, kind of seeing stuff from their perspective would be so cool in season yeah, two. You listening, yeah. CBS? Uh, uh, they blocked it. Uh, no. <laughs> Pass that along, you asshole. Uh, anyways, um, <clears throat> oh, we skipped over John uh, when he was a little kid. Joe, tell, tell, you know, tell us about that. Oh, see. yeah. They were at uh, some playground where they have the stupid ass <laughs> contraption <laughs> way, <laughs> way up in the 50 trees. feet in the air. It's like the kids like they're were playing tug of war, some kind they? of bridge thing. There's a bully. kid falls down. John picks him up. He's like, oh, "I got you." And everyone's he weighs like ten pounds. Like, he weighs like twenty five pounds. John. None of the uh, none of the adults just all stand there in it's horror. Like, oh none of them God. go like, like catch the kid. Maybe they play a little too hard. Yeah, after he says it, maybe they play a little too hard. I was like, like oh. Okay, well, see, if this is a Starship Troopers military, you know, fucking uh, society where they literally let them death fight uh, 50 nope. feet up and while well, they're daycare. seven years old, then then why do we need this nope, just Spartan daycare. program? <laughs> we, we have the pellets and just put all soldiers, put all, put the pellets in the all soldiers and then raise them from uh, birth to do that. But it's the special stuff, the special serum and, and training and, and enhancements from Halsey that actually get that done. Which really drives home the whole subplot with the fucking Admiral being so stupid. I'm going to cut your funding off. Fuck you. Like, this is not. <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> working. Uh, He's like, well, we'll tell, we'll tell uh, what is it, Hood? He's like, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, well, I'm going to tell on you. No, you're not. I was like, <laughs> no, you're not. Man me. I'm going to talk to the other old guy, and he's more, you know, senior than you. Or she's like, oh, fuck. No, please don't do that. Okay, fine. Do, we'll do things your way for the 15th time. Stop it! St- what is this doing? This is doing nothing. Uh, Jacob doesn't want his daughter 
uh, on the project. So actually, it's Jacob Keys that that pulls Miranda off, yeah. uh, thus creating more conflict. Uh, you know, we got to create the conflict between the characters we're following, and uh, Miranda believes that she can kind of rely on her father. Maybe it seems like her father's like, yeah, we'll show your mother. You know, she's on he's on her side. But it turns out, no, he's on Halsey's side, and she's like, well, why are you doing this? Well, he's trying to protect her because he's, a, he's got a secret. hands dirty. Some kind of secret. Yeah. She's got something on him, other than, you know, they're... They've been together and had a child together, but there, there seems to be maybe something more there. Well, oh, he was stealing kids, too. True. Yeah. Yeah, he's protecting his own self, and she'll realize that, Miranda. Yeah, that's why he's like, don't, he wants to keep Miranda's cl- hands clean. Yeah, because so exactly. Like, no, Perfect. This is our thing. Um, What else? That's that was it. Yeah, we pretty much got that. Uh, so we got the little admiral side plot, the which kind of sucked. We got the quan sword. side plot, which kind of sucked. Uh, we got <laughs> the kids playing <laughs> death things, which kind of sucked. But the fucking battle, eh? Uh, <laughs> that was a fucking good battle. Oh, the creepy scientist dude uh, pokes around with the artifact, tries to break it out of its cage, and uh, it, it screams. It lets out a fucking noise. This is what Unless alerts. Covenant known. Covenant are all the way on Madrigal, um, you know, where the chief used to be. Um, and uh, sh- the blessed one can somehow sense from she touching Exactly what planet in the middle exactly of space where it is, no, yeah. no matter what. She touched the rock, then she had an orgasm. She went, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, she did touch her <laughs> orgasm rock, which it didn't even glow or anything. It was just no. like a standard low rock. Yeah. Though, okay. Okay. But she, it, it sure. said exactly where <laughs> the planet is in the middle of space. Exactly, yeah, exactly yeah that's how it, it works. Do you like that? That's why she's a blessed one, Alex. That's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> the creepy scientist got a really cool line. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, when the battle starts it. happening, everyone's like, get all the, the non-combats into the he's cave. Like, no, and I need to be with the I, artifact. The artifact stays with yeah, me. Yeah, and yeah. he's like screaming. <laughs> it's like, you, you, I fucking hate Shut you. <laughs> Whoever you are, you just need to get off this fucking show. <laughs> no, I like it. You I, I need, I need a ca- Here's the thing, Alex. Is I need a character that you. is over the top, like to, that you love to hate. Juan, no. Juan is Halsey. poorly Halsey. and ridiculous. You, oh, Yeah, but she, Halsey needs like an, uh, a dark fine. side lackey to, to, to help her with her dark Jacob. side, uh, you know, enabling Captain. her <laughs> to ignore her daughter because she's staring at the artifact while her daughter's like, hi, mom. And then she's like, oh, <laughs> giggling with the weird scientist. And Miranda's like, oh, well, my mom still doesn't care about me kind mm-hmm. of thing. Super playing, cute yeah. super playing music. Yeah. <laughs> can we talk about the battle again? Fuck yeah, that shit was cool. <laughs> you yeah. can get me on board if, if if from now on all the episodes, episode six there's a battle, episode seven there's a battle, episode eight there's Not a gonna battle, happen. episode gonna happen. nine there's a battle. Three Quan episodes me. straight I'm because just we gonna... just ate up all the budget for the middle part of the show yeah, until so, the finale. So the question is, I don't necessarily want to battle in every single episode, uh, God, but I, I, do. I do kind of do i want action at least well, we got the this is right halo now. it is based on an action franchise uh but i what i'm hoping is that this isn't you know they didn't blow their load the yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's quite like a big that. load that they blew, <laughs> blew right here if you have plenty of loads left you're going to really turn things around i think uh, a lot of the people who are fence sitting uh you know will come over to your side even though uh while we can praise the battle, while we can praise when the action is happening and while the action is happening, it's kind of hard for the writers to fuck it up because nobody's talking, nobody's acting stupid. I guess you could fuck action up too, but um, <clears throat> this this should be like the easiest and they are they are pulling off the easiest stuff. Um, it's just how, how much of this are we going to see in the remaining four episodes? I believe there's four episodes left. Five. No, it's nine. Nine episodes. That's ten episodes. Uh, yeah, it got cut. Oh, okay. I think it got cut short. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <got> no faith. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, I think it was uh, pandemic related. Anyways, uh, let's go to final verdicts. I'm thinking probably a seven only because of the battle. Everything before that, mm. I didn't really care about. You take away yeah. the battle. This episode... Uh, yeah, didn't, you didn't really care about. The really, I did like the battle, and I did like the little conflict. Or mm-hmm. wasn't really conflict. The little uh, yeah, no, with the uh, one, two, five. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, John's drama like, hey, there. look, you're not battle ready. You need to keep your emotions in check. And the grunts were in there. I hate the Quan. 
I hate the little politics. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm a blackmail you. It's like, no, we're gonna cut your funding. <laughs> yeah. I uh, don't like it. I'm, uh, I'm happy there was no. Uh, What's that guy's name? Vert, 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 uh, yeah. N- n- naked ass cheeks. Oh, we ran out of ass cheeks. There's no cheek those. count. Fuck. <laughs> we hit zero cheek count. Uh, I hate how they're doing Soren dirty. It's really pissing me off. Like, it's making me hate Quan even more mm. as time goes on. Mm-hmm. I'm like, just fucking leave her, Soren. Yeah. She's going to drink, like, bring you down. She's going to get you killed. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. And uh, we got the nail. No, I, I don't think this series has the balls to kill Soren. I think that what they're doing is they're manipulating your emotions, Joe, by, by making hating. it seem like she's going to kill Soren, but she's going to end up saving Oh, Soren I still want her to kill Soren. Sh- I know. But they want you to love Quan so bad. She's either going to save Chief or save Soren or do something to where it's like, see? See? Like her! No. Even if that happens, I don't care. Okay. I'm checked out with her character. Yeah, so. it's it is nine episodes, by the way. Oh, okay, okay, seven. So what's seven. Seven. seven for the seven. battle? Mainly for the battle. For the battle, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, only any of the, the the warm and fuzzies I got from this episode was entirely for from the battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, this episode has really solidified that my my opinion about the show that this is can be entertaining, but it's poorly written drivel. Every time any characters are talking, I'm com- either barely interested or, or I hate the characters yeah. that are talking. When the battles are happening, it, this is what I wanted the entire time. This is probably the best uh, episode that we've seen thus yeah, far. it is. I think that if this had been the second episode and like, things had gone and we continue on with this, and yeah. even if they'd shortened the, the series, that this, this could have worked. But I don't think the series will work for me at all. Yeah. I, I think that all of the side characters are bad. I hate... Halsey, I know you're supposed to hate Halsey, but I hate her for reasons that they don't want me to hate her for. Yeah. It's just this, oh, I'm going to cut your funding. Well, no, you're not. Well, I'm going to blackmail you. Yeah. And then it's just, I don't think that the writers, the writers think that the, the audience are stupid, and so everything is so ham-fisted as far as, see, this person is bad. This person is good. And I, I, It's good to have it be more morally gray, more like an early Game of Thrones kind of thing than it just be so fucking... Oh, over. Just give yeah. her a mustache yeah. already. Yeah. 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 Well, like I said, like I, I fully expect him to have a flashback sure. where she k- kills his dog because they really <laughs> need to hammer home how much of a fucking bad guy that she is. And so I, think, it, she, I think they've done that so far. I, I, I don't I, think they need to do I, it anymore. I, I don't think they need to continue to do it, but I, I yeah. don't have any faith in these people. I think that without this battle, this episode would have been a two for me. Ooh, um, ooh, I mean, ooh. seriously, it is. Without the battle, mm. this episode is not good. Like, there's. Yeah, There's nothing else in there. Now, the battle, like, for honestly, the battle's like 10 out of 10. Yeah. Halo loved every second about it. And so yeah. it does really bring things up. I do agree with the 7 out of 10. I think this is a, a good episode. But honestly, I would tell people, mm-hmm. fast forward through the entire episode until yeah. the battle starts, and then don't watch anything else. Yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> complete agreement. Uh, if you think, uh, if the episode's what, th- about 30, 30 something minutes, 37 minutes, and the battle's like, what, 14 minutes, 13 minutes, uh, I'd say a third of the episode is fucking stellar. And maybe a little more than that because there's some quiet moments on the base and they're researching the artifact and, and Silver Team talking. So I think I like it, uh, you know, a, a little more than you guys. But the fact that I see uh, the weakness in the writing and the side plots that are still there, that you know that as soon as the battle's <laughs> over, we're back to the rolling eyes. We're back to, you know, it's like this The season has already been written. The season has already been filmed. And so... Um, they are like, ah, we gave you what you want. And I feel like episode six is Quan going to, like, we get a whole don't, episode don't on Quan going to beat up the, the ass cheeks dude and, and researching the, the, the desert. We have to go to the mystics Chosen first. One people. What? We have to go to the mystics right, first. The we, have to, we have a whole mystics. episode of the mystics yeah. before she can oh, fight the ass cheeks dude. God, I, can you just feel that coming? Oh. Because they're like, ha, we gave you what you wanted, fans. Now shut up and let us do with Quan what we want. So I, I, I'm worried about that. Um, I do think that so far uh, this is uh, the best episode. Uh, so let's see what I gave. Uh, let's see. Do, do, what I give episode one. 
Yeah. This could be a, a, a seven. I feel I was originally gonna give it an eight, but it's like, man, I'm I'm grading on a curve now yeah. <laughs> because well, yeah, it's been so saying, bad. Like, I don't want away. my excitement take to take the battle away. Okay, well, yeah, if you take the battle away, then we have problems. <laughs> there you we go. have major problems. That's, you gotta take those glasses right, off, man. Take the glasses off. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with a seven out of ten, uh, to stay safe because you know what? It could get better from here, you know. Uh it could That's also get far for. worse. <laughs> unclaimed. So they <laughs> unclaimed the copyright because we all gave it a good rating, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, CBS right. asshole yeah, watching so you're this video. So you not claim this one, right? Seven, we appreciated the battle. You know, you spent some money there. Popped a little, popped a few fireworks. I appreciate that. Uh, but I swear to God, if we go to fucking Quan. <laughs> what do you think if it's the Quan rider watching? He's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wrote Quan. You better like Quan. <laughs> <laughs> that whole fucking time. Quan is the best. I can't even say it because I don't want anybody on the internet to clip that out of context. <laughs> Quan is the. I'm not even going to say it. Don't you do it. Don't you try to clip me. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, <clears throat> that stuff drags down the episode as well as some of the uh, the, the the writing. Uh, but when it is focusing, focusing, when it's focusing, focusing awesome, when it focuses on uh, action and the battles and the covenant. What were you there see, for? Do you see the tension? You do you the see <laughs> the action? Do you see, like, the adrenaline? That's fucking Halo, man. And, and they did a good job on that. And I don't, I, obviously, it's a $200 million budget, so I would like, I would expect to see more of this. Um, and if you blew all your money there, then you, you need to start spending less somewhere. Two hundred million, on that. man. They spent five hundred million on that shitty ass Ryan Reynolds, The Rock, Gal Gadot movie. Like fucking up your budget. You're yeah. fucking CBS. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, we could get more of this, hopefully, in, in season two. So what I'm hoping for, uh, let's make some project uh, projections here. I think we'll get one, one more battle. Oh, for sure. One more battle at Only the end. One. He has to. He got his ass beat by a brute, which is awesome. I fought. He's got to fight. The he's got to fight the brute. It's got to be a one v one, and yeah. I want to see him fight a brute. And that's probably going to be, be the, the, the thing. Yeah, the fight with the brute. Maybe some support with Silver. That's a team. special brute because Silver too. Team has to redeem themselves. Or uh, Kai has to redeem herself. Silver Team. They're going to do a little more drama, maybe with Van Egg being like, "Hey, do you see how you fucked up with your emotions?" Uh, but maybe. They'll get the handle on it now, and maybe the rest of Silver Team will take their power. How are they going to kill I, the I, blessed one? Are, are people going to? Yeah, be yeah. So that that's that, the that's one. that's the dark horse. That is the Trojan horse. Is that going to fuck everything up? I don't. Oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah. It's going to. <laughs> so we got four Let's episodes. Go now. <laughs> She gonna, look, they reminded us. They did. So I they're going to use it. That's like Chekhov's gun. I gave it a point. <laughs> he, she's going to be sleeping in her cell, and then Rape Doctor's going to like lick her face, and then he's yeah. and then she's going to zap said, him. Rape Doctor? And then you think it's Rape Doctor? Oh, that's like the only choice, because you can't kill Miranda. You can't kill fucking Halsey. You can't. Yeah. It's going to be the Rape Doctor. Yeah. Maybe she tries to kill Halsey, and the Rape Doctor jumps in front. Ooh, you, you poked me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? All right, give us, predi- How give us your predictions. How far will it extend? All right, so that's it for us. You get. Seven out of ten. Uh, you you might forgive it a little more for that battle. Yeah. I completely understand for that because this might be, might be the best it's going to get. I hope not. I hope it does get better than this. But I have a sneaking suspicion that the next episode is going to take a huge time. I think so, too, because we still got the, obviously, Quan. the Quan and the Blessed One. Yeah. So... Mm. Quan, Bless One, and the Desert Mystics, mm. which may have been a red herring, I'm hoping. I, I'm hoping, I don't hoping. Fuck. And, and, and uh, the Cheeks guy. Uh, the, 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 what's his name? Who, I, who? Nobody fucking knows his name. Who cares? Who is Anyways, Quan going to rally, though? That's it. <laughs> her fucking self. <laughs> her man. stupid speech. Her loud fucking mouth. The guy's like, well, that was cute. Rally. That was a cute speech. <laughs> if she tra- gave any speech, everybody would leave. I would never. <laughs> I would have any, left. Any, any adult, <laughs> like any adult in Madrigal, would be like, "Motherfucker, there are aliens trying to kill everyone yes. on this planet. Why, no why? one gives a fuck who is making the money from the thing. We want to not die to the aliens." Yes, I'm so tired on the hierarchy of, the show of needs. forgetting about that. <laughs> that the re- insurrection still matters, but it's there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a you can't stop and look at it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> my eyes <laughs> shoot it, kill it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, we will see you on the next Angry Joe show, and hopefully we're seeing you right now and not blocked. Yeah. All right, I'll do a little bit of, uh, of editing here to see if we can. Uh, so far, the previous fucking 
five <laughs> edits, Joe. There was like five different edits, and we might have found it, or they might have given up. I don't fucking know. Um, if now so it's an ongoing battle. With just well, they knew they destroyed that video. The thing is, like, they can they can try to destroy the momentum of this video too. So yeah, like, it, it does destroy the momentum. But honestly, our fans are fucking awesome because they continue yeah. to watch the, each yeah. one, and I really appreciate that, guys. Um, I'm just waiting for. Um, uh, answers to my questions from my YouTube rep to see if all that stuff even counts or if they're like, nope, we're going to del delete the views, we're deleting the revenue, we're do if it's blocked and uh, it's all gone. I don't know. So, um, so we yeah. get shared. It's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> and Shane, you ain't do shit. <sighs> what a fucking headache. They need Anyways, the money for more battle scenes. <laughs> it's true. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here for episode six of Halo TV series. Bye, guys.